Welcome to our Canucks Whitetail panel. Ed, I wanted to talk to you about the All-Star break. Uh, Canucks have had some success here, a reason to watch a, a game that perhaps you normally wouldn't watch. Um, we've seen Besser and Pedersen uh, in the past do well at these events and kind of take their time on the stage. We got two new Canucks there. Pedersen's there, of course, but it's first time for Jacob Markstrom and first time for Quinn Hughes. Yeah, and significant for different reasons. I think this is a real validation for Jacob Markstrom. I mean, I think a larger notoriety has escaped him this year. But when you're on that stage, you tend to draw a lot of attention. And he's there right now. I wrote something early that this guy has really been a top five goalie in the NHL this season. There's underlying data which supports that. And I think this will help his profile a lot. Hughes is in the Calder race. And I think he's really closed the gap on Kale McCarr here. I think it's really a dead heat at this point. And again, it helps when you're on that platform and in front of the national, uh, national media. I don't want to make a big deal out of the All-Star Game. or, or yeah, No, but that's, <laughs> this is the argument we always, yeah. or we, everyone always has now about how worthless it is and the game's terrible and they keep playing with the different formats. You have a draft, we've had North American against the rest of the world. Um, but really, like, who cares? This yeah, is a big yeah, event. Yeah. You talk about guys like Markstrom and Hughes, it's got to be a big deal for them to be there, isn't it? Yeah, nothing but positive from their point of view. And again, you think of, like, the journey Markstrom's been on, you know, he's a... Uh, top-rated prospect. He gets traded. He spends a lot of time in the minor, third stringer, second stringer, and now he's here at age 30. He's finally arrived, and I think this is really a significant milepost uh, uh, for him. The whole thing about the All-Star game is just don't take it seriously. Take it for what it is. Sit back and, you know, enjoy the carnival, because that, that, that's all it is. The minute you start dissecting it and look for a deeper meaning, oh, no, that's not real hockey. Of course it isn't. Everybody knows that, nor should it be. But the one funny thing about this year, Ed, the way they're trying to grow the game is adding the women's three on three like yeah. I think for the rest of the activities on the weekend the players really don't care they're just out there having fun I think in that women's journey they are going to care a lot I think that that's that's really the one thing I want yeah watch. and you know good for the NHL they're yeah. a little late to the party and they've been a little uh, inconsistent with their support of the women's game but I think this is a terrific a terrific move all right great stuff uh, you can catch our videos here at the province.com and subscribe to our whitetail podcast through apple podcasts